Lord, that when we seek your face individually, at our house, with our kids, at the dinner table, at our jobs, in this place, Lord, when we seek your face wherever we go, and then we come together in this place, corporately seeking your face, that's when you can do amazing things. And God, that's my prayer. Lord, we all talk a big talk. We all say a lot of awesome things about how we want God to move, and about how we want God to do something awesome. But if we want you to do something awesome, we have to realize where are your hands and feet If we want you to do something awesome, we have to realize that you're going to use us to do that something awesome. And if we want to see people's lives changed, it's us that has to preach the gospel. If we want to see people come to know Jesus, it's us that has to tell them about Jesus. If we want to see miracles happen, it's us that has to devote ourselves to teaching, to praying, and to fellowship. And then those things can happen. Those things don't happen without a devoted group of followers of Jesus Christ. Lord, tonight, Lord, I pray that when we leave this faith, when we leave this place, we will seek your face more than we ever have, individually and corporately, as a church. Lord, that we'll seek your face at home, and when we come into this place, that there have been a bunch of people who've been seeking your face all week, that's when the power can show up in this place. God, I pray that over us. Lord, when we do that, the gates of hell will not stop us. When we do that, nothing can stop us in this county. People cannot stop us. Government can't stop us. Drugs can't stop us. Schools can't stop us. No one can stop us when we're a unified body of Jesus Christ. God, that's what I want to be. Wake us up, Lord. Wake us up from the dead, Lord. Bring us back to life in Jesus. Let us live. Let us surrender every single ounce of ourselves to you so that we are filled with your son and your spirit. It's in your son's name we pray. And everybody said, amen. Stand with us this evening. These altars are open. We need prayer warriors in this place tonight. No. 
information after bad information after bad information. Another individual that I've known literally my whole life. A lady that I just talked to last week. God convicted me when I was talking to her about how I lost control, lost touch with a friend that I'd known literally my whole life and let that individual go down the path the wrong way. And so what happens? You take this Christian lady and the, and the devil and the world and it says, you know what, they're liver. They're going to have to have a biopsy. You're going to have to have a transplant. You're going to do all this stuff. And once again, no. Right now. Father, we cry out to you right now. We stand in the gap as a unified body right now. We come to battle for these individuals. The stomach cancer, it cannot stay here. It cannot stay here. You will not affect that individual. You will not affect their family. You will not affect this church. Lord, that young child, whatever the symptom is, whatever the doctors are saying, Lord, we stand in the gap for that individual right now. For his family, for her family, whatever the child, we know. Lord, you have a purpose in that individual's life. You have a purpose in that family's life. Lord, we ask that we would get out of the way, that our egos and our pride would stay in the past. Lord, right now, reach down and grab that family. Grab that child. Let them know that you love them. That your hands are upon them in no way on this earth. And something bad is going to happen. Lord, we pray that you get the glory out of that situation. That whatever it is, that you grab that child. And you use that family for your good. They haven't even taken pictures. They haven't even looked at it. They're already talking about bad news. Lord, right now we ask that when that individual goes in there to that day, that they do the scans and they come back and say, there's nothing wrong. We've made a mistake. We've made a mistake. And we'll know the whole time, Lord, that it is you. That there was no mistake. And it is you, your power, and your power alone. we come to battle right now, Lord. Just for those three individuals, but for this county and this church and anybody that is, that is hurting and anybody that needs a healing, the healing is here. You still do miracles. Right now, we come together in unity. Going forward, this church body will only be stronger. Going forward, this church body will only see more miracles done and more work in your more people come to your life. this place. We ask that you would take the word that we heard tonight and take it home with us. That we pursue you like never before. I'm not 
Yeah! 
men. You know, they tried to stop that early church. They tried to stop them by persecuting them. They tried to stop them by doing whatever they could. Most of them disciples, most of that early church died in some crazy way. You know what stopped the church? Comfort. You know what stopped the church? Complacency. You know what stopped the church? Not someone killing them for the gospel, but someone making the gospel the religion of the day. See, people can come against us all they want. What's going to stop us is comfortable being comfortable where we're at. They can come against us all they want. What's going to stop us is if you're comfortable where you're at, if we're comfortable where we're at as a church, if we're comfortable where we're at in our faith, that's the only thing that can stop you. Don't be comfortable. Don't settle. Pursue God. Amen. Amen. Father God, Lord, as we leave this place, Lord, I pray, Lord, that we don't become comfortable, God. We don't become complacent. We don't become content right where we're at. But let's just serve God. Let's seek God. Let's pursue God. Let's learn more about Jesus Christ. Let's let's dive into the Spirit. Let's dive into prayer, not only individually, but in this place. Let's seek your face in a mighty way, God. But we don't want to stay where we're at. We're glad we're not where we used to be, God, but we don't want to stay right where we're at right now. We want to be moved into closer, God. We want to move on from the milk into solid food, God. We want to move on from where we're at right now to the place where you want us to be, the closest place we can be before we meet Jesus face to face. It's in your son's name we pray, and everybody said, amen. Go in peace tonight. We love you.